so my dear friends today we are going to discuss few cases with a remedy which is quite common since last 3 4 years there are many epidemics of the dengue there are many epidemics of the malaria which are going on and often on you get one common presentation patient comes to you with severe body ache with a chill with a fever with a severe body ache and he along with that he complains that he is having very severe eye pains he is not able to turn in the bed the so severe is the pain as if every bone inside the body is getting broken down and this presentation is quite common second important it looks like more commonly like a malarial fever on one day it happens to be there or at 9 o'clock second day it comes in the afternoon so there is a fixed periodicity the periodical fever associated with severe body ache patient again complains that whenever he get, he or she gets chill she she had a very severe thirst before chill so patient always com- complains that whenever she is getting the chill she feels that chill is going coming up because she is drinking more and more water and because of that whenever chill happens at the end of chill there is always a vomiting and this presentation you get often on in patients diagnosis might be anything it might be dengue it might be malaria it might be any other fever but presentation is even very similar and this presentation defines the remedy that is the eupaterium purpureum in fact you need not uh, you need not go for investigations in such types of cases wait for a two days and within two days patient settles so generally it is my habit not getting investigating patient on day one and whenever any fever patient is there unless and until three days have been passed i never ask the patient to go for investigation so generally before doing any investigation the patient settles and this is the one remedy which you never forget in such types of cases so eupaterium purpureum this is the remedy very often indicated in such types of viral fevers the dengue fevers the malarial fevers rickettsial fevers you name it by any means but presentation remains to be one and the same and that's why we will learn it from the allen's key notes so that every aspect of the remedy will going to understand eupaterium purpureum the common name itself is a bone set family is composite adapted to diseases of old people worn out constitutions especially from inebriety cachexia from prolonged and frequent attacks of bilious and intermittent fever so in the first paragraph allen defines where is the action of this remedy this is very good remedy for the old people or suffering of old people second important thing worn out constitutions worn out constitution because they have worked a lot in their life and they are absolutely degenerated cachexia from prolonged and frequent attacks of bilious and intermittent fever so there is a fever which is intermittent type so periodicity is very marked so malaria dengue viral fevers these are intermittent fevers and generally in such types of fevers you get the hemolysis and that's why it is a bilious so bilious or intermittent fever this is the remedy bruised feeling as if broken all over the body given in it given in bold by allen and this is really a bold future of this remedy in arnica it has but it is because of injuries in arnica in bellis perennis it is this long long muscles which gets which feels broken down along with the mm, uh, bony pain pyrogen it is septicemic state in pyrogen you get very clean tongue along with this bone pains affecting back head chest limbs especially the wrist as if dislocated the more general and severe the better adapted and this is true with the eupaterium compare the bryonia and mercurius 
painful soreness of eyeballs this is the complaint patient always complains he always complains that there is severe pain in eyeballs coraiza aching in every bone great prostration in epidemic influenza underline this this is too important epidemic influenza so this is a remedy epidemic remedy and can be used as a genus epidemicus in influenza like lac canina pains comes what a quickly and go away quickly like belladonna macpaws eupatorium purpureatum so this is acutely producing the pains vertigo sensation as if falling to the left and this is speciality of the homeopathy where you define the vertigo if patient feels that it is getting aggravated while rising up it is bryonia when patient feels that he is um, cannot turn the um, head to the left for fear of falling the colosynth is the remedy so variety of vertigo you can find it out with homeopathy cup it is chronic it is loose with hectic chest sore must support it with hands like bryonia and natrum car cup aggravated at night following the measles or suppressed intermittent so after intermittent fevers if the cup remains over there and it is rattling it is coming out very easily it is eupatorium fever this is characteristic chill to 9 am one day and noon at the next day the bitter vomiting at the close of chill stage drinking hessens gel and causes vomiting this is too important and patient feels that he is very having tremendous thirst before chill and immediately after following the chill he vomits fever associated with bone pains before and during chill insatiable thirst before and during chill and fever no chill is coming because he cannot drink you know relations is followed well by natremur and sepia so after completion of the fever think of natremur or sepia both are the remedies for the intermittent fever and both are defecting remedy both are the remedies from the tubercular myelom so natremur you can get it in as a psychosepilitic remedy or tubercular remedy sepia is definitely a tubercular remedy compare chelidonium podophyllum lycopodium in jaundiced conditions but everyone's jaundice is different over here in eupatorium it is hemolytic jaundice whereas in chelidonium it is the hepatitis podophyllum it is hepatitis lycopodium it is long standing liver pathology bryonia is the nearest analog having free sweat but keep pains keep patient quiet so in bryonia whenever the severe pain is there associated with thirst associated with free sweat and patient lies in bed not there is no restlessness bryonia is the remedy while in eupatorium has scanty sweat but pains make patient too restless in eupatorium like restock so these are close remedies for the eupatorium so this is the remedy this does the wonder in acute cases of the fever never forget using the eupatorium you can repeat it better for 3 to 3 days 3 times or 4 times a day in medium potency generally 200 potency this is the good remedy to be utilized So that's all for today. Thank you. We'll meet again with another remedy.